with that, um, I just want to say thank you again, and I pass on uh, to my director, David Gaston. Katina, thank you so much, and I'm incredibly pleased and proud to be part of this and the launch of the new Master of Science degree, and to have everybody here beginning these, uh, these conversations about PIP. I want to start off just by saying what a great place ASU in general and the School for the Future of Innovation and Society in particular are to think about this topic of public interest technology. As uh, you know, just about everybody knows, particularly if you're at ASU or you're local to uh, Tempe or if you pay attention to uh, the, the world of, of higher education, um, Arizona State University is uh, ranked number one for innovation. Uh, in the country. What does that mean? Uh, that means that the university drawing on a self-conception of itself as a new American university, as a university that has, that takes fundamental responsibility for the uh, success and well-being of the community that it's in, is one that is constantly uh, trying to innovate, like very much like the, uh, the private sector innovators around us, uh, a lot of people at ASU from the very top, President Michael Crow, uh, down through the leadership and the students at the university as well believe that every day is day one for innovation. We're always constantly challenging ourselves to think about what, uh, what might be done differently, what might be done to solve or address some of the challenges in the world through making change and uh, and how it is that we at ASU, through the programs that we run, through the capacities that we bring, uh, can help people along through that change. Uh, ASU is also uh, incredibly highly regarded in particular areas of creating change in the world. For example, uh, the university was recently ranked fifth globally uh, in pursuit of the sustainable development goals that the United Nations had set out and uh, fifth globally and first nationally. So these are uh, two really prominent uh, external validators of what it is that ASU has to bring to the table in terms of research, in terms of learning, and in terms of service to the community around topics relevant to PIP. ASU is also uh, an inaugural member of a, a uh, group nationwide, the Public Interest Technology University Network, that is being led by the Ford Foundation, by New America, <clears throat> excuse me, and a number of other foundations that are trying to make uh, an academic and professional field of public interest technology. And you might have heard um, of, you know, other kind of cognate uh, terms. It could be uh, tech for good, it could be responsible innovation, it could be human tech. There are a whole host of, of different kinds of visions of what this, what this topic is, but yeah. these organizations have come together to create a field around public interest technology. And uh, ASU is a charter member and a prominent member of those fields. Um, the, uh, the School for the Future of Innovation and Society within ASU is also a great place to do this work because uh, the faculty that you see uh, here in presenting uh, blend incredible scholarship in public interest technology and its cognate areas, uh, great practical experience around public interest technology in those cognate areas, and an incredible passion uh, uh, for doing this kind of work uh, with students and uh, with the community. Um, I don't have uh, a lot of time on the agenda, and I know that there is a host of uh, other folks who are scheduled to present, and I see uh, Katina sort of nodding and smiling at me. So I will, uh, I will mute myself after that introduction and look forward to other folks' remarks and any questions that people might have of me in particular. Thank you so much, Dave, uh, for being the impetus. I think if it wasn't for you, this degree, uh, would not have been so utterly supported from the grassroots up uh, and we're all privileged that <laughs> you were basically leading the way uh, for us to get this going. Uh, so thank you for all that support over the last two years. 